Hello friends. Today we have a Huawei P50 Pro phone for repair. The phone was dropped in water. After falling into the water, the phone stopped working. Let's disassemble the phone and look for damage. I noticed that the cover on the phone has come off. Now I will heat the phone on a separator in order to remove the back cover. But first you need to pull out the SIM tray. I see that the phone has already been disassembled. The seal is broken. Be careful when disassembling the phone, there are small screws and there are large screws. Do not mix them up when you assemble the phone. There are six small screws in total. Let's disassemble the phone. The main board is fine, but the lower board is damaged. As you can see, there are damaged connector legs above the two grey ceramic capacitors. If you count, this is contact 7 if you count from the right side. The second small connector also has burnt legs. It turns out that two connectors are damaged, as well as the charging cable. There is a lot of oxidation on it, they need to be cleaned. In order for the phone to turn on, we only need the phone to start charging and for the display module to work. It would be advisable to remove the battery and see how the cables are located. There are also some minor oxidations on the finger sensor. Let's see what I managed to do. The display turns on, but the touchscreen doesn't work. Now I'll remove the battery to see how the cables are located. As you can see, everything is now clear what goes where. It turns out that the display was probably flooded with water and the touch screen has now stopped working. It looks like I'll have to change the display module. There's no other way. Let's sum it up. Friends. The main board is intact and we need to replace the display. Unfortunately, I most likely won't be able to save the old display since I don't know how the cables are located inside. I can accidentally cut it off, but let's try. After I remove the display, I'll need to go to the store and try to connect the display on the spot. If the display works, then the problem was in it. 
It needs to be cut because there is a power button here and it is physically impossible to do this. So we will attach it, lower the board, and we will be able to check it right away. In any case, the display will have to be cut. I took out the battery and pulled out the film. Here is the cable that goes to the module. It is most likely impossible to remove it safely. I will probably break it. Here is white. It means water got in. I cut off the display. If you take it off, then only the edges. Look! Everything is flooded. I cut the train. Now we know that we need to cut the edge at most. It's better to cut a little at a time from the top, going to this train. Then it will be possible not to damage it. The camera works fine. Now I'll deal with the bottom board. Here is a burnt contact. It needs to be cleaned. The connector needs to be removed in any case, cleaned and tinned. The capacitors are very close here, so any imprecise movement can ruin everything. I tinned the contacts. The connector needs to be tinned. The carbon deposits need to be removed and soldered. I clean the carbon deposits off the legs, otherwise the solder won't stick.
I apply flux and deserve it. I take 0.5 balls. It is more convenient in balls. Plastic melts easily. So you need to touch it for a split second. And under a microscope. I also take the ball and the second contact. Done. I install it back. We install the connector. First I apply flux. I align the connector. We can solder. Done. I'll clean it from flux and look at the contacts at an angle to make sure they're soldered. We've sorted out one, now the second connector. Also two contacts. It's for fingerprint. Also burnt out. We do the same procedure with it. The camera has a coating. You need to wipe it carefully. Because if there is a scratch, the camera will not shoot well. You can't do this with a cotton swab. Otherwise there will be fluff. Then I assemble the phone. A screw stuck to the camera and it didn't snap into place. The screws are not magnetic, it is not convenient. Now I will tighten all the screws and will diagnose the phone. I will put in a SIM card, check the sound and so on before I install the back cover. The previous master applied the glue in dots. This is not correct. 
вы видели, когда я разбирал телефон, она легко снялась. По сути, она уже была отклеена. Так не наносить тепление, когда все снимки не стирал. Лучше там, полоску наклеивать, как и должно быть, как на заводе, там тоже полоску наклеиться. Не рекомендую делать вот такими точками. Точки можете дополнить. They come off. You need to apply the glue in stripes as at the manufacturer. Dots are additional. I clean the lid, clean the glass. Сейчас я зачищу крышку и потом будем показывать. Крышка зачищена, ребят. Я также зачистил внутреннее стекло, снаружи стекло. То есть у меня было пятна. А пятна там были, ребят. Поэтому при помощи вот этой тряпочки не сильно давим. I apply the glue and glue. Ребят, тут походу крышку меняли, и походу она не, реаг... не оригинальная, потому что она не подходит, немножко вытирает, она реально не подходит. Либо крышку меняли, либо вот это вот стекло меняли. Именно у стекла у нас идет не приезжать, стекло не работает. В общем, все, оставляем. I leave it to stick together. Everything is ready. I hope the video was useful. Don't forget to put your thumbs up. Subscribe. Good luck with your repairs. Bye.